Nye oh my goodness, I can't. I can't. Look how many... <laughs> Look at my health right now. That's a lot of dudes. Are we expected to fight all of them? Whoa, it's got like a beard. Wait. Oh yeah, it sees me. Uh, I guess I'll bring you back down to the arena. Also a better place for me to retrieve my ergo when I die. <laughs> Oh, are, you, are you coming? Oh. They're guards. I feel like we have to fight you, though. I can't walk around with you guys. Kind of looks like you're wearing sunglasses. What? Eyebrow? Your eyebrow game is... Insane. Already? Fury attack right off the bat. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, the moment I come down here, they're like, whoa, I'm just gonna forget about you. We might be able to do it if you follow me down, but if you don't... The, the space is too narrow. And you're not even the only one we have to fight, too. That's the thing. Ah! Come, come with me. Come with me. I could throw stuff and kill you, but... It's very slow work. I, I guess we could kite this thing and... But this is so... Oh, okay, well. I'm glad you made the choice for me. But there were so many of them. These guys seem so buff. I might have thought... They were mini-bosses. But we saw multiple of them. So that kind of makes me think they're normal too. Do you think we could just slip by? Well, not with these guys here, right? I see you. Oh! Oh! Okay, but... I think we have to deal with it if we want to get somewhere. Oh, what? I, oh my gosh, my entire Fable Arts didn't connect at all. Wow, seriously? Okay. At least the Fury attacks are really slow. No, 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 no. You're blocking the way, dude. You're just too... I don't think I can stand fighting this guy more than once, though, and there's another one, too. Maybe this is gonna be my big break? Okay, I just gotta wait for the staggerable window, I guess. Ah, we can upgrade our sword now. Well, that one fight took my sword down to half durability, basically. That's crazy. Gotta be careful of stuff in this- Yeah, there's another one there. Plus another one of these wandering guys. Okay, get this over with. Yo, come down here. Oh, there's none. That's it.
He's very slow. So it's really... This one's more about patience. It's not like he has a difficult moveset. I just gotta bide my time. Which I am not being very good at right now, to be honest. I gotta be careful. I'm backing into a corner here. Oh, yeah! Oh, he commits to! Oh! Do you see how just now, when he started his fury attack, he didn't actually turn around and try to hit me like, you know, some of the other guys did before? So turning directions, getting behind him, might be a pretty good strategy for him then. Noted for future reference. Okay, but we're not exactly high on pulse cells anymore. We gotta be careful. Are there more? Probably. Hey, hey, hey. Die. Open some doors. Let's open some doors. Get some shortcuts if we can. That'll make me really happy. <laughs> Nobody come out of windows, please. Ooh. <laughs> We're certainly on the other side of something. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, hi. I can't believe my Fable art attack didn't connect earlier against the big guy. I thought the Fable art one was basically supposed to be invincible, nobody could stop me even if I keep getting hit in the middle of it, but not every time. Okay, so I I'm very sad to find that this is not a... <laughs> this is not a door we can open. Oh. That's better. Lots of old antiques in here. There's some evidence. See, when you see stuff like this, it means the people inside the store try to block the people from coming in or going out or something, right? You can sort of imagine the terror that was in here before. Oh! I hear sounds, I don't like it. Where is this? Oh, okay, next to the star- oh, wonderful, let's go. This is- what kind of store is this? Oh, it's the- the Clemence store. We came from that way. Yes? Who's talking? Scandal! V, the tragedy behind the flamboyance. Few citizens of Krat do not know who V is. The crown prince of high society, the man who came up with a grand covenant of the automated puppets and built the best manufacturing company at the age of 18. Benini? The man who's always fancy and is passionate about making people laugh. V is the most hated and beloved man in Krat, but his innocent passion makes even his opponents sentimental. However, even fewer people are aware of the tragedy he experienced in his youth. The true nature of the death of V's parents was covered up. Officially, they're victims of a homicide during a mugging. Even though V experienced such a tragedy in his youth, he grew up with a cheerful personality and became a well-known person whom any parents would be proud of. However, there is no one who knows that V secretly requests for the case history every year, and that his request is always denied. Suspicion surrounded this tragedy at the time, and there is known to have been pressure from the workshop and the alchemists throughout the investigation. Oh. Huh. What do you mean see- So he doesn't even know- what? So even he doesn't know how his parents died? The most interesting hypothesis is that the murderer is not human. 
If this is true, it explains the workshop and the alchemist's suspicious attempts to cover it up. It also explains how V was obsessed with inventions and success from his youth. This is where the real tragedy of Krat lies. Even V, the richest and most influential in all of Krat, can't come close to their power. I'm not seeing the direct correlation between why his parents dying and that getting covered up means that he would become obsessed with inventions and, and success. <laughs> um, I guess he might want to become more influential so that he ends up gaining access to things. That's crazy though, what, they just covered it up? So if they didn't die to a human, maybe it's one of these weird monsters or it's a puppet. But V is the one who made puppets. Why are they being so weird? It's just Manini, isn't it? I thought this family was around for longer. Yeah, because they don't go by Lorenzini, they go by Vanini. So I thought this was like, oh, like Vanini family's ancestral work. Who's being noisy? Please stop. But it looks like Lorenzini is the first person in the Vanini family who founded the company. Oh! Hey! Hey, Arcade Underground Passage Key. <laughs> Here's some very heavy footsteps. Who are you? A lost visitor? Or a looter who's arrived too late? Both. You look like a stalker. I figured you were all dead. <laughs> no offense. Stalker, visitor, looter, I don't care. Just buy what you need and leave. I look like a stalker? I look like the crown prince of Krat, alright? I came to Krat to see the wonders of the Grand Exhibition. Talk about bad luck. Not only was the Grand Exhibition a huge disaster, I can't leave because of, well, monsters. If you want to see the exhibition for yourself, head toward the wine cellar down below. The wine cellar! We need to find wine. What do you got? You got purification ampoules, special ampoules. You only sell stuff after I need it. This would have been good to have earlier when we were fighting those disruption puppet thingies. You know, this would have been good earlier, but no, you don't give it to me when I need it. Circular electric chainsaw blade and handle. Seems interesting. Motivity D. <laughs> um, okay. Conde Wait, let's see the, the fable arts. Condensing slash, slash enemies in front of you. Number of slashes varies depending on the charged amount. Endure. Withstand the enemy's attack, whatever that means. A circular saw blade made from... Oh, made using Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The more successful it is at attacking, the faster the plate turns, increasing its electric blitz attack power. The circular saw blade with a generator attached was effective. Even the strongest puppets could not withstand the wounds it caused. It's an electric weapon. Maybe this is like a straight upgrade for the electric coil, maybe? But my electric coil is plus six now, so it's pretty good. The handle. The vibrations of the circular saw blade made it lethal to its wielder as well. Oh, okay. To harm no one but an opponent, the chainsaw handle was crafted to relieve the vibrations. Oh, I never really thought about that, but that's true. If you hold something that vibrates very strongly, then you're gonna get vibrated too. Oh, this is buy it. Indomitable amulet increases resistance of disruption shock break. Oh, that could be good if we if we see these things often. Which at the moment I feel like we're gonna see decay more often, not these things. Their determination does not falter in the face of any difficulty. They continue to resist and defy even in situations where moving proves impossible. Sure, sure. I don't mind buying these things. Just on the off chance I need it later, right? Thanks, I guess. No, I shouldn't have. Two doors I can open? Not one, but two? I hear footsteps. How's my weapon? Okay, I got four on me. I should try this out sometime. But not- okay, not in front of this guy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you turn really fast. Faster than expected. So let me- let me try taking advantage of- Right, he doesn't know how to turn back. He's quite weak towards that kind of thing. Wait. Oh, I'm back here! Oh, I don't need to be here! This is exactly where I fought the original one! I thought this was a new one. Okay, screw that. 
Actually, well, this might be a good chance to try out the... the thing then. Relatively safe here. Uh, oh, all right. Hey, you're too fat to fit through the door, dummy. <laughs> Electric. Oh, I, I was... I was not correct. I mean, you could fit through, but like... Woo! <laughs> Okay, but we're not seeing puppets here, so this electricity is not doing me any good. Okay, I, I don't think we need to be back here for now. We got the underground passage key, so we can go back to where we came from. I don't know about this electric saw blade thing. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not seeing puppets right now. If I have two, you know... I feel like the whole thing about them giving you two slots, but then... Both of the weapons counting for your stamina just naturally means that it is always going to be a disadvantage for you to wield two weapons at once. Look, 92% heavy. That sort of discourages trying new things out. I really feel like it does. Or maybe it's just me. Mm. Let's, um, yeah, we'll... Oh, we haven't opened this side yet. Jeez, I'm so lost. Where do we come from? There was a side with a locked was it that side i got the key now i need to find where the key opens i think it was this i'm kind of this is the side where the big guy comes out two hits two hits no Quite annoying. <laughs> the damn key better be this side. I'm sick of this. I'm already sick of this. Um. Oh. I tend to dodge back, but maybe just dodging past them might be a better idea sometimes. Especially for the guys that turn around slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's natural tendency for people to want to run away from danger. But there are lots of instances where dodging into something, dodging to the side, actually makes things way easier for me. Okay. Good to know. Oh! I hate that I remember this at now, but uh, I really should change my grinder to the fire, I think. The acid's not gonna do anything here. Did, did I visit this side already? Oh, what? I'm so... Hold up. We went there already. Oh, shoot. Where was the dang... Hey! Hey! Oh, you have a dude on your side, too! <sighs> Where was... the locked door? Oh. Ah, it's right here. This is the corridor right before we see those mustache, the people with the black hair. Ah, that's why they opened the door for me, because I was supposed to wrap back down that way. But instead, I went the other way instead. Here we go. Changed my grinder to the fire, by the way. Hello. Maybe we should use it right now. Free. It's free anyway. Oh my goodness! Didn't even lock on. Whoa, I'm not liking what I'm seeing here. I don't have time for butterflies and stuff, man. Just get, hold on. Give me a second here. Wait, I have to... Do I really just have to walk in like that? What is that? Oh, that was the thing 
That was the thing that was making the decay. Oh, I see. Hey, hey, hey! Alright, we gotta be careful, because I'm gonna... Oh, this is really bad. Okay. Okay, this is very bad. Let me stand here. Ah, oh, there's these little pockets where I'm okay. Okay, my durability is going down like crazy. I should probably take an ampoule, but I, I'm gonna risk it. Because I think my, my health isn't going down that much. We good? Okay, we, we should probably go back to the hotel soon. We're stacking up on Ergo a little bit, and I can upgrade my Holy Arc Sword. Alright. Am I supposed to just run through like that? Oh. So now we have a bit of a reprieve here. Let me just take away the boxes. Thank you. Hey, you come here. You come here. Certainly make things a little less difficult for me. We're supposed to find wine here. This is the wine cellar. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, it comes back after a while. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Well, if worse comes to worse, I do have the purification ampoules ready. This is not a good time for the butterflies, I'm just saying. Okay, this is very bad. Ain't nobody got time for that butterfly. If it's even still here. Ah, but we'll have time for it if we open that door and then we come back next time. Maybe. I don't hear it. What? Oh, shoot. Hurry up, hurry up. Spear of Honor Blade handle. Okay, worry about that next time when we get out of here. Hmm. It's okay, we're doing fine. I'm gonna stand around here for a little bit, just to make sure the decay goes down. I could take a resistance. Yeah. Oh, hey. Great timing. No! Why'd you miss? We get a good bit of time here. This is the last thing. Okay, we're good. Now, am I gonna make a trip specifically back here just to do the butterfly? We'll have to see those annoying things again. So I don't know about that. Where are we? This is where we see the... the gigantic people, right? Yes. So it's quite close to the Stargazer. I'm gonna keep looking around. Aren't we supposed to find wine? Where was the wine? We opened this door. This is new. This is new, yeah? No, this is not new. We came from this way. Wait, hold up. Right, right, right. Now this is back to the beginning of the underground passage area. We went that way last time. I didn't go this way. You can tell because someone's here. Are, are you okay, miss? Yeah, of course. This part reminds me of Bioshock a little bit. I don't know why. The vibes... Oh. Oh, the E just gets both of them. Nice little crowd control-ish thing. Uh, 
don't know where that goes. If I were a... a bottle of wine, I would be here. But that was just a little... the little thingy, right? Oh my goodness! Mister, you don't look well. You don't look well. I'm sorry to inform you. I may have been the first person to come here to inform you, but... You may want to go see a doctor for this. It's too quiet. The greatest show on Earth is coming! The biggest show on Earth is coming to Krot to make your heart race. Dear ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Grand Exhibition in Krot, the city of tomorrow, the center of the new age. State-of-the-art machines, balloons spread across the sky, and a popular performance that toured from across the great desert in the south to the country in the far east. Don't forget the essence of the automated puppet, the center of Krot's revival. The greatest show awaits you all. And one of the puppets was hitting this poster before. Does it have to do with the parade? The parade master guy? Like, he, he was putting on a parade. It was showing off the puppet. Don't miss your chance to see the following at the exhibition gallery. Puppets of the future, multi-purpose puppets, Vanini tram, new butler puppets, special exhibition gallery, treasure from the far east. If you wish to behold these splendors, be sure to attend. Puppets of the future, that's the one we saw at the, the factory, the big one. Treasure from the far east. Gonna start seeing some Asian puppets. Thank you. I don't know, I've, <laughs> for some reason, seeing the way this, this chair is put up reminded me a lot of school. They ever make you do that in school? Clean up the place, make sure you put up the chairs like that at the end of the day so that the janitors and whatnot, they can clean up the floor easier. Okay, we're going down further below. There was a path up there I didn't go, okay? I gotta remember that. This is the wine cellar. This is the wine cellar. Bad things are gonna happen here. Like, the gate suddenly breaking, letting loose 20 million monsters. No? This makes me feel like I sh should have gone to the... Oh, he barely got staggered. He's breaking the gates! Oh! Oh! Oh, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Go, monsters, go! Come on, you can do it! They're doing it. They're doing it. Maybe not completely, but they helped out a lot. They actually helped out a lot. Get out of here. Hunter's amulet. Hunter's amulet. No, I didn't look at the other weapon yet. Later, later, later. When we get to a safe spot. Increase ergo acquisition when killing enemies. Ooh, that could be really good, but not one that I want to take over some other stuff. The Nameless One Amulet, I guess it's okay for us to take it off now because we're just doing regular stuff. It would be nice in a boss fight, but yeah, regularly, I don't mind dying too much. So maybe we should have it right now, is what I'm saying. Sure. You know what? Sure. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. So besides Mr. Mad Puppet here, anything else? 
worth looking at? Please tell me that's the wine. One of these. Excuse me, who's making that noise? Could you please pipe down? Balance crank. Isn't the old woman of the, uh, venerable lady looking for some wine? You know, like the wine you've got? Yeah, I remember. Oh my goodness, it's like a horror house in here. Hey, I was just thinking this, this wall would be really good for a gigantic creature to burst through and try to get me. Not after the whole crazy clown though, that was... once was enough. <laughs> so is this the same way as the other place or is this a... Oh wow. You know what, that's right, that's right. I can hold up the Aegis and attack at the same time. I don't gotta let go. That's the whole reason why I upgraded it. Hey. <laughs> Sometimes it works. I did you a solid, buddy. You were gonna stand there forever. Volunteers wanted grand exhibition. My Aegis is almost gone. Uh. Stargazer is a person. Oh, no, they're saying, hey, anyone like Stargazer is a walkie-talkie. I can go to the walkie-talkie and talk to them. I I'm not done down there yet. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go back down now because... Yeah, I don't wanna... Um... <laughs> if I go to the Stargazer right now, it's gonna respawn everybody. I'm just curious about that one... That one room. Would it have been a dead end or something else? Yeah, this room back here. I did not go up here. Oh! Okay, good one to come back to. Probably should have done it earlier. Now the stargazer we went to earlier, is it the same one? I mean, I guess I can use this one right now. I just don't- Oh, hey! Wait. Ah, oh, so this was the door I came out of before. I see, okay. Fantastic then. Good thing I went back. Hello? Vanini! Hello? But if someone can use ergo waves to transmit communication, is it a puppet then? It shouldn't be a human. You can do it because you made it, but who else would be able to do that? Let's go back to the hotel quickly. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Let's go to the, the old lady. The wine. Oh, she's still coughing. Hey, it looks like she has wine already. Ah, lovely wee. Even in the bottle, it has a distinctive shade of red. Oh, thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. But <laughs> this, this glimmer of happier days is priceless. Oh, why, you almost forgot. They're speaking of price, here's what I can spare. Please, take it. Benini commemorative coin. Okay, I hope you do better. That hand reaching out is so freaking creepy. It doesn't even... I don't know what they were thinking, man, but... Sure, sure. 
She's still coughing up the storm. Vinini commemorative coin. Thank you gift from the old lady at the window. Engraved with Vinini's face. So he's... Wow! He's the first of his family to do all this and he's so good. They engraved him on coins. They were minted for a limited edition sale for the Vanini fan club's anniversary. It was a magnificent event attended by Kratz's socialites and celebrities. Hey, maybe we can show it to him and he'll be like, you know what? Oh yeah, that was a thing. That was really cool and that's why people love me so much. Blah, 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 blah. She's just coughing the whole time. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Vanini. At the house of Vanini. Oh. Oh, okay. Strike a light. You find a commemorative coin dating from the founding of the Vanini Foundation. The foundation is a sort of fan club, sir. A very limited number of these were minted for the original members. Well, once Master Vanini established himself as the. <clears throat> Prince of High Society, Bleh. his popularity skyrocketed, and his signature coat and glasses were mass-produced. This is one of the originals, however, from the limited run. Take care of it, won't you? You have restored Master Vanini's lost collection. You've earned this small token of appreciation, sir. Thank you. You are very welcome. At the house of Vanini. That's it for now. I always welcome. Eh. All right. Vanini, he doesn't even look super old. How long have puppets been around in Crot? Hard for me to see a timeline because they make it sound like he's such the he's like the greatest inventor of all time, but he's not even that old. And they they were minting coins of him before and all that. I know my way around a weapon. I would like you to please upgrade my Holy Sword of the Ark, if you could please. I I would love to try the other stuff out, but honestly, why change what's working? It, it's it's just working, you know? <laughs> it just works for me. Now, speaking of new weapons that we got here. Spear of Honor. Killer attack. Swing the weapon to attack. Deals heavy damage to attacking enemies. Rush swing. Rush forward, attack enemies, and swing your weapon wide. A luxurious spear blade made used by the bastards. An elaborate pattern is engraved on the angled blade. They were abandoned by their families, but they couldn't abandon their pride. Clutching nothing but their honor, the bastards charge forward, spears in hand. Huh. The handle of a rush lance ordered to be made by a stalker of the bastards. The brass handle has a rotating device that enhances rush attacks, honor or nothing. This was all the bastards, who were both aristocrats and stalkers, had left. Then nothing left besides your so-called honor. I'll give it a spin. Motivity D! <laughs> Motivity D! Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh wow, one swing dagger? No, it's the parry. It's the parry that did that. Oh cool. Oh, so that's an attack you definitely want to- Wait, this one it feels like the handle fable arts is better than the blade fable arts. This is the blade. This is the handle. 1000 damage. Well, let's look at the amount of damage. 300. Okay. Interesting. It looks like... It, th it doesn't look like a traditional sword. It's like a screwdriver. Huh. Okay, very cool. Thank you. Thank you. And all that good stuff. How many quartz do we have now? Do we have any quartz? We do not have anything. Oh yeah, I gotta go. Go get some fruit and all that. It's time to get fruity. Doesn't even look like fruit. The coin looks very Asian though. Maybe it's like Korean coin, ancient Korean coins? I have no clue. Surprisingly, I mean this, it doesn't feel that Korean-ish because the setting isn't. 
It's like when people... They say, what? Because FromSoft is a, a Japanese company, they say that Dark Souls is a JRPG. No, that's not how that works. If an Italian chef makes sushi, it's still sushi. It's still Japanese cuisine, right? So, no, Dark Souls is not a JRPG. I'm launching off into I'll a tangent here. <laughs> that was just sort of a, a pet peeve that always bugged me. I think we need the uh, capacity. We need to increase this a little bit. But how much, though? Mm, I don't know, man. I just don't want to keep getting heavier and heavier. But this seems like a big investment. Still slightly heavy. 60%, right at 60%. If I had... Oh my gosh. Each level costs more than 8,000 ergo now. That's not good. Yeah, I'll never get to the point where this isn't slightly heavy, I think. But just keeping it in the zone where it's not becoming too heavy, I think that's a, a good thing to aim for. Probably. Let's see here. We probably want to um, put away some of this stuff. I'll put away the electric coil for now and all of this. Okay. Yeah. It just works. Like, I I'm aware I'm not really engaging in the whole, like, oh, mixing and matching system, but number one, my current sword can't do that, and number two, I feel like the original combination works out fine. There's nothing I particularly am thinking, oh, I really want this thing from this particular blade or this particular handle. So I, I, I know it exists, but I just don't really have a reason to engage in it right now. <laughs> okay, time to go back. Oh man, I have no idea which side is which. <laughs> I'm I wish they made it a little bit more different. Oh, I think it was this side? Right, because we came down from that way. Okay. Got you, got you. They're closed. I wonder why. Can't have anything to do with all the dead people here. No. We're overdue for our somebody jumping out of the window thing. <laughs> Is no one gonna do that here? Okay. Are we getting out of here? We're leaving. Because we're going to the grand exhibition. For real? I guess so. We sort of came out through a back exit. Don't like the sounds of parades. The grand exhibition theme was automatic puppets and city of the future. The plan is to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Krat. But you know the rest. You can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos. And now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare. So we should be expecting some advanced puppetry business here? Is that what you're saying? I'm pressing the lock on button like crazy right now. <laughs> Just in case. Mm. Is someone playing? What is that? It sounds a little bit off. Ran exhibition. They're a little off tune. Whoever's playing that. I guess you don't mind for now. Alright, hello. Hello. We have multiple people here. Where are we trying to get into that building? So maybe this is. Hello. One at a time, thank you. Oops. Oh, they kind of detect when I start raising my sword, huh? They start guarding as well. These guys aren't entirely stupid. Oh, I broke your sword! And you. 
Oh. Break. I forgot what the penalty is for having full break is, but let's try not to have full anything. I've ignored the front door. Guess that's all right for now. Hello? How you feeling? No, get the dog too! Get the dog too! I... I'm guessing probably the front door would have been locked. Do you want to confirm it? Because we're walking further and further into this place here. Okay, let me go check it out first. So far the puppets seem standard, but I'm sure we'll run into some advanced stuff or something. The music is a metaphor for the state of this place. Yeah, things are still happening. It's it's running, but <laughs> also a little bit just off. One dude? No. Oh. You're really gonna just. Thank you. The dangers of having multiple enemies in our face. I feel it every day. Oh, if we're gonna be seeing puppets again, I should... Mm, next time we go to a stargazer, switch to the electric grinder, maybe? Not yet. I... Ooh, I see a dude there with a... Is that an electric axe? Oh, I'm a puppet too, so their electricity would work well for me. That's not good. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. That is fine. We'll figure it out. Remember, I got the Aegis, by the way. That's a thing. And I do have throwing cells and all that, just in case if we ever need to. <laughs> Although, I, I do generally feel like I'd rather die than use consumables. Which might be my default stance in anything, actually. <laughs> just because, well, my life, I can come back however many times, that's fine. But the consumables, it's in the name. It'll never come back if I... If I just use it. Oh, come on. Just a little doggy resting here. I hear something. Hello? Hi? Have you not noticed me? You're walking very slow. Oh, you know what? How about you continue to not notice me? Oh, it can do- Whoa, whoa! I was trying to get a backstab in, but I guess I was too noisy. And all that. Yeah, there is some electric shock. That's not good. Oh! He's got a lot of health. A lot of stamina. Oh. This ain't good. We haven't even gone anywhere yet. But I guess I also spent earlier going to all sorts of places. Oh. Alright, alright, alright.
But I'm pretty sure we saw more than one of these guys. There was one across the gate. So yeah. LADA shock cartridge. Cartridge. This one? Yeah, the, the weight is higher. We're just getting heavier and heavier every time. Hmm. While changing the design, they added the ability to, to assemble individual additives. It's good, I suppose. I went that- whoa, my percentage went up by like six or seven just now. It's quite a bit. Okay. Well, I'm not doing great on the pulse cell front already, but we'll have to keep trucking forward. Oh, can we... Nope. I wonder if fire would even do anything for the puppets here. Probably not. Burning metal. Hey, but I mean, I'm a puppet, and then sometimes... Sometimes I can be put on fire too, so hey. Maybe let's not write it off so quickly. No one's gonna jump out? <laughs> I don't even use those Legion magazines. Man, I barely use anything in here. I feel like I should more. Oh my god! <gasps> we get the ride? Really? It's exciting. Wait, it's... It's kind of spacious in here. We might have to fight. <laughs> Let's be careful. Waiting for someone to jump in. There's not much to look at in front of me. guess we're all right for now. Where are we in the building? We didn't go through the front door. We went through the tramway. I think so. Ergo is life. Maybe they mean that literally. Hey, Ergo is made out of life. It's made out of people. Ergo green is people. There's... Oh, Stargazer right in front of me. Don't need to look any further. Thank you. Oh, but I'm a little bit alarmed by what is going on over there. <laughs> that guy looks like he has some wings. That's a little bit worrying. Electric. Okay, there's people everywhere here. Because they were holding an exhibit. Oh, now we're getting so much of this. Welcome, welcome cardboard cutouts. <laughs> cardboard cutouts? Advertising puppets. Feel like you should just get a, a model to stand here. <laughs> it's not even particularly locked from this side, it just... For some reason we couldn't open it from the other side, that's it. That's fine, that's fine. Now, if you want to fight that thingy, I want to get the other stuff away first. Um, this side... Well, we can check out this side first, sure. Hello, hello. Uh, everybody, all at once? That works. Aegis is quite... Ooh. You're not gonna wake up, are you? Okay, what did we say about those saw, saw blade puppets? They're here. The future is here. Oh, wow. Boom, boom. It's a two hit thing. Boom, 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 boom. One giant step for tomorrow. Oh, that's the puppet of the future. Do you have a name? I wish you guys all had names. It's hard for me to refer to any of you specifically because of that. 
Model numbers? Nothing. What's my model number then? I'm a unique puppet. Doesn't seem like... I mean, I, I hope we don't have clones. But that's because I am a clone. I'm Geppetto's son's clone or something like that. A ladder here. We'll have to come back here from another side later. Any one of these cloth-covered parts could randomly just break open. Just be on the lookout. Okay, we're good here. If we're good here, I'm actually going to... Yeah, it's a dead end until we get the ladder coming down, right? So I'm gonna go back to the Stargazer again, just to get the grinder again. And now we'll figure out what to do here. Oh, wait, that guy's actually the guy we just fought, right? Never mind then, it's not that scary. Oh. Damn. It's endless thing about the um, heavier weapons. We have to be much more deliberate about our movements all the time. Boom, boom. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting... Boom. Boom, boom. Oh! That was pretty sweet. Pretty sweet attack. Boom, boom. Oh, I can't! No! I see we're gonna have the wall issue here, too. Boom. Oh my... I keep hitting the wall. <laughs> I keep hitting the wall. Well, that was... That was a bit... Mm. We should stay away from trying to fight near the walls. Hey, how'd I get that? I can't even walk past that piece of cloth, are you kidding me? I gotta go here. Some super reinforced cloth. Nothing cool is happening here. There's no receptionist. Oh, I was wrong, there is a receptionist. I was hasty there. Should have waited one more. I wonder if I'm right in thinking this then, you know, because how... Mm, if we can't defeat an enemy the first time we see them, it's because we don't know their pattern. Then, in a way, it's like they don't expect you to be able to do it the first time around. Because you can't... We're not telepathic. We can't tell these patterns, right? We just have to... Yeah, death is expected. It's just... Unless if you're very, very good at reaction time, I guess. Because whether this guy hits two times or three times, we have to know that in advance so we can take the... Take shots in wherever we can. But yeah, it's, it's just very hard to know that in advance. Anything in the back? Nope. Kinda quiet here, actually. I wonder if the guys with the wings and the saw blades come back. I feel like they will. They seem like not that big of an enemy. Hello? Oh, hey, there's that guy again. The guy with the shield. Long time no see! Wish I never saw you again. Okay, there's a bunch of shot put guys. 
Wait, are you... Okay, if you're gonna come fight me right now, I'm not gonna move from here. Because there's no way you're luring me into fighting you. With a bunch of shot put guys near me. Come here. I welcome you. Here. Or are we wait for him to go back first? That sounds like a good plan. You know what? Maybe we should. Jay! <laughs> we were already having problems earlier with the whole blade being too long. Okay, we're... Wait, you're, you're still alive! How are you still- Whoa, I, I gotta go. You know what? This ain't working well. How are you still alive? Oh, I thought you were dead. You weren't. Um, no. I'm not. No. <laughs> Let's try again. Hmm. But we have to, of course, we have to fight this guy again. Maybe a little bit better this time. Can we just go past him? Is that a thing? Maybe not so much. I can reach you from further. Maybe. Hey, 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 let's not... Mm, this is a sign of... Look, it's a sign of impatience. That's not a good sign for... What's to come? I'm... Oh. There was another one of you. That's right. Boom, boom. No, 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 no. You can tell already, I'm feeling impatient. Don't just go. Don't just go. Boom, boom. When he turns around, that's probably a good time to start attacking. Bum bum. So these aren't the puppets of the future then, because they don't know how to... This guy only knows how to walk forward. He has to turn around entirely the whole time, every time he walks in one direction. <laughs> Still beating the crap out of me though, so... Yeah. Alright, not doing the greatest, but hopefully... Well, we'll see. Oh, what? Whoa, I just broke his sword with pure force? Nothing to do with parrying? That's kind of messed up. Alrighty here. We already went... <laughs> the amount of pulse cells hasn't really improved. I was hoping to come in here with a little bit more. We can use some throwing cells. I guess that's a thing. If we switch to this, uh, this glaive form, I think it's stamina consumption reduction, right? But then when we switch it back, the blade turns red. And I don't know... Are you coming? Now he's just standing there. If you come, I'll wait around for you first. I'll- I'll wait until you go away. Cause I'm not- I'm not that impatient. But yeah, I'm not sure if we can find out. Can we? Hmm... Yeah, it just says after transforming, stamina consumption is reduced temporarily. But then, when you switch it back, the blade turns red, and... I'm not exactly 100% on what that is. So how are we doing this? How do we go in with an explosive power to just get rid of the shot put? Mm. 
resistance modules would have might have been good. Okay, just walking is okay. I don't need to like. That's two. Can we fight like this? Can you come over here? We can fight here. I needed to get rid of somebody, okay? Oh, that- Yes, you were the one of those guys that like, did some crazy following me. Fable arts for this this version is a little bit different. Okay, just needed to get rid of you. Thank goodness. I'm not sure. I th I feel like I like the shorter form a bit more, especially in tighter areas. Hits. This guy does three hits. We should just kill him right away. Probably should have. That would have been a good spot for some throwing cells, I think. Note it, but I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't do it in the future. All right. Well, we're not going over there. Space is getting tighter. Back up. Oh. In a quiet spot for once? That's rare. Sorry, butterflies. I don't like butterflies. Oh, I forgot to go back to get the one that was, um... In that acidy area. I, I'll try to remember to go back some other time. Yeah, sometimes... They don't really drop back rate of stuff anyway. Anyway, is, uh, this is a... Oh, this opens the... Hmm. Depends on if I think I can open that... Okay, we should do this first, no matter what, right? Probably, because it's a shortcut. But this guy, I'm not confident about being able to defeat him in... Oh. With two pulse cells. I do have some throwing cells here. Can you just walk away from the ladder first? Oh my gosh, they're so slow. <laughs> Resistance module. That might be good here to take here a little bit. I have longer reach. Just kidding. It's still garbage. Remember the thing about- let's try to dodge to the side and not, like, behind. It might work out a little bit better. It's hard though, that tendency of doing that. Okay, we're in trouble. In this case, I'm gonna quickly run over here and open the door first. <laughs> I opened it. I opened it already. It's okay. Can I do it? Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes they just do like a big walk before they... Yeah, this isn't looking good. Give him my best shot. Oh! I, 
couldn't even guard. That's right. That's fine. We open the door. All right. It should be right behind us. We can ignore those dudes. I would be super duper happy. All right, buddy. I'm just gonna grab that first if you don't mind. I I guess I will. Will you come back again? I don't know. I wanted to see if I could parry you, but I... If I don't parry you, do I get electric shockified? I do. I could just leave. I could just leave. I mean, I could. Uh, hold up. There was a door. I don't think we can go there for now. You know what? I It's not that I don't... Yeah, I don't usually want to leave like this, but I'm recognizing that we have other areas that we might want to get to with more pulse cells for now. So for now, you win. For now. Maybe I'll come back another time when I end up back at the Stargazer. I don't want to waste all of my Stargazers and not get to the new location. Just dance with me, oh